Hello, hello. And welcome to my Brother Scan and Cut Saturdays. Brother Scan and Cut Saturdays is where I go on to Canvas Workspace and I choose an SG, a free SGV file, cut it out and then show you how to put it together. Now this cute little box is meant to be a sandwich box but I've downsized them and these are called crocodile sandwich boxes so I am going to make a large sandwich box but these are quite cute and what do you think you could put in these I mean sweeties all sorts and they're very very easy to put together so we will pop those to one side we've got three elements we've got the teeth and we've got this funny shape and this funny shape that looks a bit like a frog so we will do this funny shape first now all the score lines have obviously got perf perforations so we're going to score on all score lines first of all okay let's do this so summers or school holidays will soon be upon us um, especially here in Scotland, um, they will indeed. So once you've scored all the, oopsie, let's score these lines as well. Once you've scored all your score lines, let's fold those back, okay. and fold them over, fold them back like that, and fold them over. So it's a bit like a box that doesn't have to be stuck down. So once you've folded these two funny bits here over and then over like this, you're going to bring these two eyes over here and right over and then down. So it fits in nicely like that. And at the back here you should have a flap and two funny little slots, okay? So now with these eyes, this is where your teeth are going to sit. So we just run some tape along here so we can stick this down. So remember obviously the teeth will be sitting, sorry, sitting out and I have put my I've got so many pokey tools all over the place. Put my pokey tool here. I'm going to turn that up and then pop it down in here so that oops, I've got wonky teeth. So obviously don't do it on the wonk like me, make sure that the teeth are well in. Okay, that's really cool. You can see the teeth. <laughs> so now pop that to one side. And now I'm going to again fold on all the score lines. So there's quite a lot. So literally fold along all the score lines. So like and fold again. Now you will actually see them because they're like little perforated um, score lines and this one here. Okay. So that's your basis then. Each middle bit here, you've got a score line, so it folds in like so. So if you wanted to use, to make it easier for yourself, if you wanted to use a, a score, a scoring tool, just to, and it all depends how thick the actual card is. Okay. And then again, let's move this in. and like so. okay so 
So that's how your box would look. Now, this flap here, we're going to pop him, him, or her, a bit pink, we could have a pink crocodile or no, you can have loads. So I've got an orange and a green one. So we're going to pop him down like so. Let me see. And here, I'm going to just put some double sided tape. No, I'm going to put my collab glue so that it can stick quite quick if it comes out. So i run this along here. my glue, my eyes are out and just make sure it's lined up good. That's it. There. Now this is your sandwich box for children. So you could put treats, sandwich, obviously yeah you would wrap it up um, in a sandwich bag or something like that but how cool is this if you were having a party or having a picnic and made different colors for different children and then you could write on them and the tiny little ones as well they could be for sweeties so all like little snacks so you could put some little snacks in there for a day out and then give them the box and yeah and then they could do a puppet show Hello. <laughs> so who would like to win a big sandwich box so I've got one large sandwich box to win and two small ones so what with summer coming and parties and whatever you could if you were um, if you had a mind to, was to use this as a template and draw around it and then cut it out. And yeah, that's what I would do anyway and work out where all the score lines are so that you use this as a template rather than rather than having a brother scan and cut. I think if my children were a lot younger, that's what I would do with them. But I'm afraid, yeah, my eldest is coming up for 40. So yeah, I think it's for my for my grandkids and I'm going to send these off or ones like this to my grandchildren um, yeah and I'm going to make a pink one for my granddaughter because I think she would like this so yeah who would like to win a crocodile sandwich box one large I've got to win and two little small ones so three lucky people if you would like to be in chance yeah have a chance to win please leave your comment below Please like this video, um, if you can share it, yeah, that would be great. Um, I'm just thinking my nieces and nephews might like these as well to do, yeah, to do puppet shows. I think they're absolutely brilliant, really are cool. I don't know what I'm going to call them. <laughs> Mr. Clock 1, Mr. Clock 2 and Mr. Clock 3. <laughs> right, thank you for stopping by. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Give, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the bell so that you get all my um, videos um, yeah, and don't miss out on anything. Um, so yeah, thanks for stopping by. God bless and have a lovely week. Bye for now.